What's up, y'all? Am I live? I think I'm live. Um, just coming to y'all live from Creole's Creole's Restaurant in uh, Millville. I'm enjoying this, man. It's a great vibe, good people. Let me tell y'all something. I'm sitting talking with the boss. Um, one of the bosses. This food is jumping, man. That's all I can tell you, man. This food is jumping. You know what I'm saying? It's a great, good vibe, good energy. You know, the customer service is dope. Like, y'all have to stop by 811 West Main Road, Millville, off of Route 49, right across from Sidelines. Sports bar. You feel me? So, um, I'm enjoying a lunch right now. What are y'all doing? That's what I want to know. What's going on? It is y'all. I am at Kiyoyo's. I just said it right the first time. <laughs> um, Latin cuisine restaurant out here in um, West uh, West Main Road, Millville, um, right across from Sidelines um, Sports Bar, and I'm having a nice lunch. As you can say, I got that authentic um, rice and beans with the red beans on top with the Kiyoyo chicken. I'm going to enjoy this, man. This is definitely a, a, this is a lunch for me. You know what I mean? I, this is I'm I'm going to come here more often. I would tell y'all if you are in the area, um, stop by, show some love. You know what I'm saying? Support a guy who's out here for the community. He is definitely um, trying to change it up a little bit, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? So um, y'all come by, check it out, man. You definitely won't be disappointed. I know I'm not. I've been I'm eating this. <laughs> So we back, y'all. I done had my dish. Of course, I got to have that patelillo, pastelillo, as they call it. Um, so I got some time. I'm going to sit with one of the main guys, the big dog. <laughs> he, um, We just want to bring y'all a little bit more of a, um, I guess not an interview, but a little, you know, live on, you know, what he has, his ambitions, what he's bringing to the community. Um, the bro right here. How you doing, Mr. Guzman? How you doing? How you doing there? Um, How you doing? What we on Instagram today? We we live on Facebook. Facebook. You know How saying? you doing, yeah. Facebook? So um, just you know, let people know you know what inspired you to want to do this. I mean, I think you got some dope stuff. I'm always behind it. I'm, you know I, what you I know, mean? On the on honestly, the one re the one thing I would have to say that definitely inspired me to do this is time. Word word. Time, and I have to say, all right, so. You know, I thought I was a baller, right? So, <laughs> seriously, you know, it's like, you know how us kids are, man, like growing up. And I, I say kids because I think our generation, you know, I just turned 40 this year, so I think our generation, Boy, that's a you know, kind of like how Jay Z has said the one, one time, I think it was uh -huh. 30 was the new 20 or whatever. Yeah. I really do believe that because I really think you're only as old as what, how you feel at heart. That's uh -huh. just in my own personal opinion. opinion. Yeah. So I still consider like someone like yourself and, and myself as we're just kids, man. We're just those kids. Yeah. Um, so here I am, I got the whole family, um, I, we take this big, big, huge vacation, uh -huh. we go to a place called Davenport, Florida, Okay. this thing was amazing, I had never been to Disney World all my life, <laughs> um, I, you know, I got, you know, I got three kids of my own, I inherited three more kids, oh, you got, my <laughs> you got, got blessed, you got again. blessed again, <laughs> so I decided, you know what, my wife and I, we have been together now, uh, going on eight years, um, and we never took our children out on, on vacation. Okay. So we decided, let's do it this time. Let's let's take the kids with us. Mm -hmm. What a mistake, I have to say. Okay. Not the part of taking the kids, but I became a, a cook and a clean a cleaner all day long. I was uh, just a dishwasher yeah, and running. a cook yeah. all week long. Uh -huh. I spent so much money. Imagine a Disney trip for six Six or seven people. I forgot how many people went. It was a lot. Jeez, okay, I think it was seven. That's big. Disney <laughs> trip to seven people for seven people. Uh -huh. And I had to like literally every day. I was I was I didn't want my wife to go away on vacation, and work because that's okay. what that was. It was just work again. Okay. And that inspired me. It motivated me. I kind of said, there should be a service for this. And of course, we all know that there's services for that where you can hire a cook or whatever the case is. But yes. Is it really affordable? Very is true. Is the quality good? Are they going to the be price? motivated? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, yeah. So I kind of thought to myself, I said, why don't you create something 
that will facilitate things and make people's lives easier. Okay. One thing I notice is time. We don't have enough time. Yeah, I never have enough time. <laughs> they ask us to go work for $10 an hour. We have to do eight hour shifts, 12 hour shifts. Word. What time do we have to, to come out Cook and clean for our families, a good healthy meal. Mm -hmm. That's why obesity is the way it is. That's so big, I, I right. decided, you know what? Yeah. We need to create a company that can cater, that we can go out and feed hardworking individuals like I've been since I was literally 10, 11 years old, mm -hmm. you know, uh, handing out newspapers, you know, for the, <laughs> I think it was called the Hudson Dispatch or for real? How long did you do that for? Uh, man, it was dangerous. I think I was uh, nine, 10 years old. And Get out. Five, six years old with a paper route. I mean, uh -huh. I was five, six years old. Oh my God, five, six o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. you know, with a, with a paper route. It was yeah. just nuts. But it just, it showed me the ambition and the, ter the determination that I truly have um, to just really do big things. I mean, this isn't it. This is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. As long as Criollos Latin Cuisine maintains a good support, which I believe we have it in this community, mm -hmm. I will now in turn give back Cumberland County, South Jersey, mm -hmm. the tri-state area. I will give you guys some amazing things, things that are boiling in my mind people have no idea <laughs> just to, just to give you an, an example uh -huh. I've got another I got two other pages I'm working on still dope dope once this is done we might be we're, we're gonna have this here at, on on, uh, on Main Street and then we're gonna have another location possibly on High Street okay which is gonna be a little more high-end with possibly a pizzeria attached to it as well get on out on high street and it's going to be a like a high-end luxury type of setting where you yeah. or you would uh -huh. come with your hot date okay that's hey dope. hot date could be mama okay so, <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is all right but yeah. those that's that's something in the horizon which i'm supposed to sit with an investor i think in a couple of days coming okay. out of new york he's buying a lot of property there on the app mm -hmm. um Another thing I have is Whippy.app, which is okay. a car buying service. Okay. It's also another um, company that I'm going to be working on. Once this is finally up and running and, and is on autopilot, uh -huh. then I can introduce all my followers possibly one of the most genius ways on buying a car. Nice. The same way I bought my car. Cool. cool. All right. I, I, quick story. I, I, I was running a dealership for three years. I told my boss, I said, boss, I want to buy, listen, I've been working very hard all my life. I came from the most humbling experiences in life. My mom used to grab clothes for us from the trash mm. on Boulevard East in um, in uh, West New York, if anybody up there knows where that is. You know, my mom used to get us food from the trash, from the old, you know, from the old food stores. Mm. That's how we came up, man. We had, I didn't have my dad around. My mom didn't have a job. We were raised on welfare. I can remember going with the food stamp books buying our food with the color different color yeah, books, right? with the, with the different colored face buddy paper thing you know what i'm saying you know and i still remember family first i mean yeah. you know i'm not that old you know what i mean but you know so the fact of the matter is man as hard as i worked in my life i said man i've been working so hard i want to own something that makes me feel very positive very strong so i went out and bought myself a car that really was a, a dumb move because you shouldn't have spent kind of money like that on a car but uh, make a long story short, I told my boss, I said, boss, could you get me this car? Took him two, three weeks, never got it for me. Mm. And the prices were too high, prices were too high, insane. 46, 47, 30, whatever. Mm. I said to myself, you know what? Let me just do this the way I know how to do this. Yeah. And I found my car, which my boss, who owned the dealership, couldn't get this car for me at yeah. the price that I paid just by me going, just, just, take, just taking the extra step. Yeah. You just have to be driven motivated determined whatever you want in life as long as you believe it and you work hard for it you will get it it's that simple word, i am word. living proof for someone that came out of the hood with no college background amazing i am very impressed with what i've done with my life wow. now is my turn to give back reach out to me i'm a great person a great you know i love a great conversation 
That's why I thank you, Bert, Definitely. for coming always. in. Always. <laughs> coming real. I got to show the support. Me, man. You surprised me coming in here, man. And you've been one of my original supporters, I man. tell people, like, man, you got to have that love for people. You don't never know what this world has. You know, Absolutely. sometimes you got to just go for it. You got to jump out. You got to be excited. You got to try something different. You don't know the results. You can change the world just by believing and taking a chance. And, Absolutely. You know, that's what we're doing right now. Absolutely. <laughs> you just, know what I mean? You know, we're just trying to do things and, you know, many different ideas, many different. I'm trying to create jobs. Yeah. I'm just trying to create jobs. Uh-huh. Good jobs. Mm-hmm. I like to treat people right. I like to, I want to treat people the way I would want you to treat me. Yes. I want to change this world. So anyone that follows me, if you see all that funny, goofy things that I do on Facebook, I'm just a clown, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a comedian. <laughs> I just want to have fun. Yeah, yeah. I want y'all to come out here and just have fun with me, man. Yeah, you it's seem like, simple. like, let me ask you something. Please. Because you, I know you love what you do. I can tell the I energy. I love people. I love humanity. In. Yeah, so like, okay. What would be something you could, because right now with everything going on in the world, we're not going to get political, but just with the ugliness in the world, with the hate and, you know, like what would be your thing that you can tell somebody like that would motivate them if they not having a good year or they still chasing goals but it hasn't fell through or they don't know where to start? Like what would be some pointers for them? Just honestly. I really thought I had, um, wow, I mean, my life, I'll, I'll just just to give you a quick story, if anybody that really recognizes me, I worked for a dealership called Apollo Auto Sales. Um, most people that work like at big companies like Woodbine Developmental, Final Developmental Center, uh-huh. um, they would remember, because I remember we used to sell a lot of cars to, 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 the, to the entire South, South Jersey and yes. Philadelphia and yes. Delaware. Um, and the one thing I remember, I mean, I, I remember working so hard and helping Help or, or being a part of building a business. Yes. It almost felt like from the scratch, and it was exciting. It felt like it was my baby. Yeah. Um. And and I, I was probably, in my opinion, I felt I was the most dedicated. Well, aside from the owner. Okay. I was the most dedicated person on staff. I felt that. At mm. least I believed that. Um. And man, one day to the next, you you know you you, you go to work. You think everything's okay. You think you have this job security because you, you're giving the best to this company, and. The man just looks at you and says, hey, it's time to go. Mm. You know, I'm going to keep someone else, which was a complete waste of money. The person that they kept made no sense. Everyone that knew the two individuals that they had to select from, they were all very shocked and surprised. Mm -hmm. And of course, six months later, everyone realized that someone made the wrong move. But I felt at that point that my, my life had hit bottom. Yes. It didn't. That wasn't bottom. So that was the, the, that was the beginning yeah. of the bottom. Oh, yes. oh, oh, the beginning of the, the bottom. The beginning of the bottom. So it just kept dipping. I mean, um, I went, I, 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 I had started with, um, not Whippy, I had another company. It was a little lot called AEG Auto Brokers. Maybe I was missing, maybe I was the piece I was missing, but I just didn't think I was able to dedicate full time on that. I was scared. I was scared. That's another thing. I think you just got to, like, go for it. Um, yes. No fear. I guess that's another secret. Just okay. no fear. Just do it. I mean, if you fail, you fail. But at least at the end, you can always say to yourself, hey, at least I tried, man. Word, word. At that's, least I tried. It yeah. didn't work out? All right, no big deal. But at least I tried. I'd rather that mm-hmm. than to be the guy that I'm now 60, 70, 80 years old. And I said, man, what if? What, what, what? would have ever happened? Yeah, a lot of people. Everybody, yeah. including my own father. Yeah. Thought that I was nuts. I remember my dad maybe three, four weeks ago saying, Scott, do me a favor. Go back to selling cars. Your family needs you. Oh, crap. Man, it made me cry. Mm. I said, thanks a lot. That's a father. Um, no support. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know what? I just think I just kept going. Like I said, that was, I thought that was bottom. It wasn't. You know, I took this other job. I worked hard. I went a whole year without taking a day off. <sighs> this man was telling me, you're going to own this dealership. I'm going to sell it to you. Blah, blah, blah. People yeah. that were dealing with me, they knew. Uh-huh. I'm the type of guy I like to give deals away, man. I'm like, hey, man, you. I can see you. If I see the pain in your eyes, you need help. Uh-huh. You need a plate of food. Oh, here you go. That's true. Bro, I don't need your in money. In case y'all don't know this guy, not to stop you, but this guy, um, we met kind of like 